You know, I go through these phases of note-taking apps, and I'm always looking for something better, but I'm beginning to realize that this one stock app might just be the best option. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the one app on your iPhone that is surprisingly good and why you might not need to use a third party note taking app after all. But before we get started, be sure to like this video if you found it useful, click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how to's and reviews. Now I've tried a bunch of note taking apps and have talked about them here. Out of all these apps, Bear and Apple Notes have been my two favorites, but I recently went back to Apple Notes and I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think it might be the best overall note-taking app. Of course, there are some negatives to Apple Notes as well, and I'm definitely gonna mention them as I go through this. First off, there's the Apple ecosystem, or walled garden, depending on how you feel about Apple. You just can't get this integration with any other app, specifically the Apple Pencil. One of my favorite features of Apple Notes is the ability to just tap the iPad with your Apple Pencil and instantly jot down a note. Third party note apps can sync across devices and some will even do it via iCloud Sync. But I find the sync with Apple Notes across Apple devices to be incredibly reliable, more so than on other third party apps. So when we talk about the integration with iOS, um, one of the things that you can also do is with Control Center, if I swipe down and bring up my control center, you can add Apple Notes in there. So if I go into settings and I'll go down to control center, um, you have the ability to add a quick note and then you can also just jump directly into Apple Notes from control center. So that's a level of integration that you have available with Apple Notes as opposed to a third party. The other thing is search, which I've brought up before. If I go into notes and I wanna search, you can search your written text. So if I type in Memphis here, I'll see um, my results with me that contain Memphis, and one of those results is a handwritten note. So this is really nice. If you handwrite notes on your iPad, you can search those notes and search the text there. And that is, again, like more of a third-party app add-on or paid feature or something that some third-party apps just can't do. If you are using a, a third-party note-taking app, if you're using Bear, if you're using Apple Notes, one thing I would really recommend is the AstroPad Rock Paper Pencil. I've done videos on it before. There's a link that you will see here on the screen to a discussion uh, video that I did about it. Um, but I really recommend this screen protector um, there'll be a link in the description below as well. It works really well. It gives you a really nice writing feeling on your iPad. So, um, if you haven't checked it out, please give it a, give it a look. Um, they had two versions of it. There was a, the first version that they came out with, which was pretty good. And then they've improved upon it with the second version, um, which I really like it all. It, it really works well. So check that out, uh, with the description links that I've got below. One of the next features I love about Apple Notes is the collaboration. It's very easy to share notes and get real-time collaboration with those shared users. But the best part is that if they're a Mac user, you don't have to ask them to download anything to collaborate with you. So I've got Apple Notes here up on my screen and I'm showing you on my Mac, but you're gonna get the same experience whether you're using your iPad or your iPhone. Um, iPad, of course, you would be able to write on your iPad and take some notes. Uh, and then see those notes as well. But just wanted to show you the collaboration features. So here's a new note that I've got. I can right click on this and I can share the note here and I can manage the shared note. You'll also see my shared notes that I already have. Um, right here I've got a shared folder. So any notes within the folder are gonna be shared as well. And if I click on that icon, I can see who I'm sharing um, the note with or the folder with. And then you can also see who's typing in the notes. So this is really great collaboration that you've got within Apple Notes that normally would be a premium in a third party app. Um, you can see that I am typing in this note right now. And if I go and put some text in on my other user, that's gonna update and show here in this note as well. And it's gonna show that text uh, when it happens. There is a little bit of a lag there. There's a text that just popped up that I uh, put in the other iPhone on the other account. 
but you'll uh, see that and you'll see this um, user that's in the note, you'll see that across your devices too. So it's actually pretty cool collaboration features that you have available. I've talked about shortcuts before and I'm hoping we'll see more attention given to it with iOS 18 and maybe some AI involvement as well. I use shortcuts with notes and it works quite well as a daily note for my work. There is the journal app, which is nice too, but I like using notes to keep a daily log of everything I'm doing for work. One of the things I do is use ChatGPT to pull a small section of things that happen this day in history, and I also use ChatGPT to give me two daily writing prompts. I'm going to put the link to the shortcut below, but it does not have the today in history prompt. You can easily add that in though once you open up the shortcut. And I have a feeling that Apple is going to create some AI in iOS 18 that just might replace my chat GPT option in the shortcut. Okay, I got a little off track there. Yes, some third party apps work with shortcuts too. As a matter of fact, I love how Bear works with shortcuts, especially with Markdown, which is one thing Notes is lacking. But you know, shortcuts, notes, it's all Apple, which is really nice. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely reevaluating my subscription costs for apps these days. Apple Notes comes with iOS and is completely free. So for features and things that it might be missing, I'm looking at you, Markdown. It might be worth using this app for the features you normally pay for on a third party app. Cloud Sync and Collaboration are features you would normally pay for with third party apps, and it's completely free on Apple Notes. We're about a month away from iOS 18. From rumors and speculation, it seems like we might see a big overhaul to iOS. There's also been some talk about stock app refreshes, and hopefully that'll include Apple Notes as well. So far, I've just heard about deeper integration with Calendar and Reminders, but I would like to see some markdown support and the ability to link notes to calendar events and reminders. Maybe it'll happen with iOS 18. I just hope that notes is not overlooked when we see it unveiled. Of course, I will be trying out the beta when it's released and talking about it here, so make sure you subscribe to see iOS 18 in action. Apple Notes is far from perfect, but if you want to cut some costs on apps and can live with some of its shortcomings, it's a great app that has come a long way. I'm looking forward to seeing the new features that iOS 18 should bring with it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Apple Notes. What do you like, what do you not like about it? What made you decide to use a third-party app instead of Notes? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.